Here's on each hand by John Ronix. <laughs> this is never ending. How to build guitars yourself and tune them correctly by Janet Hudson. Hold my beer. I'm just okay. What was that? I'll definitely call you back. Passion Free Plant Hunter by Martin King. Casual Crowns by Ron Vigor. The Love Life of Lobsters by Phil Raven. Modern Mind Magic. What does our phone say? Oh, our phone doesn't really say anything. I guess we'll just explore. Hello. You are not my patients, but I wanted to see what you look like. And shake my tail feather around. Yeah, I guess these rooms don't have much in them. Oh, did you see that? I slid that time. I don't know how to get it, like, every time. Okay, they all kind of look the same. They're either, like, a bear or a large cat thing. Okay, not much else back here. I assume we're a pigeon. It kind of looks like a pigeon. Oh, hello. You want to talk to me again? No, it's the same. That's the same thing. Um. Oh, hello. I saw you earlier. What's your name? Carl. It was great for you to stand up for me just now. No problem. Why are you standing here? Well, I'm just waiting for the damn elevator. It's broken. Can. Great. What are you up to? I have to go to the main storage room on the ground floor. You heard what Krakowski said. Warren's storage room is empty again. I gotta get supplies. Need help? I sure won't say no. No, but I could help you with the carry. Let's not waste any time then. We'll take the stairs. Unless they're broken now as well. What could be broken about a staircase? You have no idea, kid. Kid. Oh, he's following me. Alright, alright. We're going back down. A tough day at work. Tough rounds. We're back at it. Okay, we gotta go all the way back down. <laughs> I like you, Carl. I think we'll get along just fine. The storage room, though. Hmm. It's on the ground floor. Is it back here? Here it is. This is our main storage room. My second home. Chaotic at first glance, but I have my system. You have a system? Yes, I have plenty of systems. Let me get our stuff together. Finley, you better stay back, kid. Anything could bear hiding in there. You think you're grabbing a cable, but in fact, it's a king cobra. Why don't we have any snake handling gloves, then? We do. They're somewhere in the main storage room. Seriously? No jokes about King Cobras. Okay, okay. No need to get hysterical. <laughs> no jokes. <laughs> Let's get this over with, kid. Agreed. <clears throat> he doesn't need gloves. He's like a ram. He's got hooves. That's a lot of stuff. The day will be over if we have to carry it all upstairs. Yes, and it'll also be the end of the day for my back. This hospital was really wearing me out. Who knows how many more years my body can take it. Why don't we ask the janitor to take a look at the elevator? Old Glendower? Good luck with that. Don't you think he'll help us? Everything Gregor touches ends up even more broken than before. Come on, let's give it a try at least. Alright, but only because it's just one room farther. I'm saving myself every unnecessary step. After you. Okay. I'm gonna go see who Mr. Glendower is. Who's this? Oh, the newbie. What is it? 
Could you fix the elevator for us? I don't have any spare parts. You usually do it with duct tape and a glue gun. That's why it keeps breaking down. I'd rather save myself the trouble. Duct tape? Listen, Gregor, we need the elevator. And I need my cigarettes. I lost them somewhere, but where? No cigarettes, no help from me. If I find your cigarettes for you, will you help us with the elevator? Hmm, maybe. I'll take it. Maybe? Say yes, you old grouch. Yes, yes, alright, I was on the front entrance parking lot this morning. I took the trash to the dumpsters at the back entrance. I took a look at Ingrid's coffee machine, but there's nothing more I can do for it. So, my smokes must be there somewhere. I'm on it. I'm going back to our stuff. Don't want anything else getting stolen. Oh, what else was stolen? Oh god. So, I said we went out back. So we can try that. We know that it's back here. And I mentioned where the coffee machine is. But I don't think we've seen that. Gregor said he was at the dumpsters this morning. There really are cigarettes in here. And they still look pretty good. The reddish brown sludge must have been on the pack before. Okay, so well, we have it. <laughs> I don't know, maybe we should see if we can find the coffee machine real quick. Let's give it a little once over back here. I think I skipped a yeah, I skipped this dialogue thing. Usually the first patients would be going for lunch by now. The ones who are still able to walk at least. Hello. Oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> Down. Now. I'll count three. Oh god. I'm so sorry. I apologize. Do you even work here, kid? Why are you hanging around out front all the time? <laughs> we don't have a response for that. That's a nope. The snack machine soothes me somehow. No matter how stressful my day gets. No matter what happens. The snacks sit here and grow old gracefully. You need constants in your life. Oh, very true. That was a very nice thought. I appreciate that, Finley. His name is adorable. I haven't heard the name Finley in forever. That is a really good dog name. Um, okay. I'm just gonna check real quick, because he mentioned coffee room. Which I thought I saw somewhere, and I just wanted to look. But... If it turns out to be nothing, I will just transition this and nobody has to watch. <laughs> Let's see. Coffee machine. Like, all the way back here. Here we go. Nope. It's nothing. Alright, alright. I did find cigarettes, so. It's interesting how often hospital workers smoke. Mr. Glendower, hello. Yes, newbie. Your cigarettes, I got them. They were by the dumpsters. Good stuff, kiddo. And you're really gonna fix the elevator now with duct tape? Well, you gotta work with what's available. I don't even ask them upstairs anymore. Management always promises they ordered new stuff, but nothing ever arrives. Maybe I'll get a bit a couple of good wax. That usually helps, too. Hopefully you'll get off my back when I'm done. No problem. Thanks. Ooh, fade. Smack, smack, elevator noises, fixing. Crank, crank, crank. <laughs> it's done. I'm always surprised whenever anything works in this dump. 
I'm not promising anything, but I think we can use the elevator again now. Pure luxury. Enjoy it while you can. It could be over soon. And when that time comes, try not to be in the elevator. Aye, aye. You were of great help, Finley. We can use people like you in this hospital. I'm glad I can help. Now get going. You should start caring for your patients. Talk to Dr. Krakowski. She'll give you your assignment for today's shift. Will do. See you later. There ain't no way around that. You're like huffing, puffing. Hey, Finley. You want to get yourself fired? Go talk to Gro Dr. Krakowski. Okay, okay. I don't want to get fired. I'm going the wrong way. Ah! Mia! Where are you going? Hello? Where's Dr. Krakowski? I don't want to be fired. Hello? There you are, Finley. Where have you been hiding this time? I was helping Carl carry the boxes to the storage room. They're pretty heavy. That's very kind of you, Finley. But let the nurse take care of that. You've done more than enough. I've assigned you three patients today. Look at your smartphone. My smartphone? Wow, it's such a modern game. We're testing digital patient records right now. You can download your patient information before your shift begins. Oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Sure. Here are my tasks. New tasks. Downloading today's schedule. Wow. It's on this. It's on the cloud. Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I missed a piece of dialogue. <laughs> I'm sure it wasn't too much. Come see me as soon as you're done. Chop, chop. Okay. Okay. 301. Oh, wait. Oh, P31 is over here. We'll just do that first. It's a bear. So cuddly looking. Hello. Oh no. Their eyes are yellow. I think that means like liver failure? Good afternoon, Miss Delvin. My name is Finley, and I am your attending physician. Hello, doctor. My name is Cassian Delwin, and I'm your patient today. It's a very interesting thing to say as a patient. Here's to a good working relationship. I'll make a storybook patient. You'll see. Nausea, abdominal pain, Muscle cramps. I got it all. No spoilers, Miss Delwyn. Let me try to do my job well. Alright, let's get on with it then. Oh boy. Like another mini game for diagnosis? Okay. Diagnosis. Find the correct symbol combination. A blue mark shows you that a right symbol is in the wrong position. Okay. Green mark says, right symbol in correct position. In addition, symbols will be highlighted green when they are in the correct position. The symbol will not be in the correct combination more than one time. Find the correct combination within eight rounds. No problem, no problem. There's like, um, Nancy Drew games used to do this like all the time, so. I got this, I got this. Easy. Let's, uh, yeah. Let's look at this. Press X. Okay, I got two blue ones. Uh. Let's just change two and see what happens. Okay, so I have the tooth and the bone correct, is my feeling. The problem is, is, I guess, let's just, let, we'll just shift everything and see. It is possible that the first, one of the ones I switched from the first line to the second line, 
was one of the right ones and then I just happened to get another right one. I think the actual way to do this is to like repeat symbols until you kind of get it, but we're just going to do whatever. <laughs> okay, heart is good. Okay, okay. So in, I only got one blue mark this time, which means it wasn't the tooth and the bone. I'm guessing the foot, because this everything else was the same, so the foot is one of these. And maybe we'll do this. Let's swap the skull and the tooth. Just to see if one of those was right, we might have figured out the position. Okay. That's so weird. I gotta think about this. Let's try foot here. Bone. Skull? Maybe? Ooh, okay, we're close. Let's see. Eye? Nice! That was pretty good for me not even doing it. Um. Oh, I only got a B. <laughs> You're supposed to do it faster. I didn't know we were getting graded. What do you think? I have a suspicion. We'll have to do some more examinations. Someone will come by later to draw blood, and tomorrow we'll know more. All right. You are an excellent patient. I'll recommend you to the staff. Thank you. See you tomorrow, then. I'll be here. Oh, and can you do me a favor? What can I do for you? There's a blueberry pudding left over somewhere. I'll gladly take two tonight. Wow, blueberry pudding sounds delicious. Where can I get some of that? If I come across a blueberry pudding, it's all yours. Perfect. Ah, Wholesome. Blueberry pudding. Not gonna lie, I wanna Google it right now to see if I can find it. Blueberry pudding. But I'll focus. I'll keep focused. We're gonna do our patience. They need much help. And I just looked at the cow diagram. I think it's um it's funny, it's showing like they have three stomachs, I think. Is it like three or maybe four? Hello, Mr. Kissinger. What's new? I'm asking you. I'm spending most of my days lying in bed lately. Doing nothing. Looking out of the window. Did you know that today is the beginning of meteorological fall? What does that mean? Is that right? No, I didn't know that. We've never had so little rain in the summer as we've had this year. That's fine by me. <laughs> I wonder if it's harder to fly when it is a bunch of rain. Um, let me take a look at the rash. How come you know so much about meteorology? Are you in any pain? Um, let's ask about the pain. Are you in any pain? The left side of my body hurts. Only the left? Yes, and I feel really exhausted. If it weren't for the pain, I could sleep all day. I'm very sorry about that, but you'll feel better soon. We'll keep you under observation a little while longer. Let me take a look at your rash. Does that hurt? Just lying around is already pretty painful, you know. No, it's not that bad, I promise. Uh oh another one of these hard ones. Okay, hold. Hold B. Left. Left button. X. A. Nice. Okay. Ooh, it's getting... Oh no. A, G. What does that mean? Oh no. 
For some reason, it's going between my keyboard and my controller. <laughs> I think we pulled that off pretty well. I'm sure. I'm sure it will happen when the full release. This prologue, I think, only was released last year, so it's been a while between this and when current date. All right, that's it. What do you think? That's a pretty nasty case of shingle. We need to keep an eye on your rash and treat it regularly. Your circulation seems fine, though. All right, your instruments are pretty cold. They always are, I'm afraid. There's nothing you can do about it. One of the great mysteries of the universe. Fascinating. Have a lovely day. I think some doctors will, like, breathe on their stethoscope and stuff before they put it on you so it's not too cold. But it's kind of funny to think that maybe they could put, like, warmers, instrument warmers in the rooms and stuff and pull it out when they need it. That would be an interesting thing to see if they ever decide it's worth doing, but I haven't even seen those old kind of instruments in a long time. How are you, Mrs. Amit? Oh, much, much better. The painkillers have got me flying high. Oh god. I'm glad to hear it. Could I maybe have some more of them? Oh god. Well, unless it's absolutely necessary, then no. Oh, that's too bad. And how about under the table? For later? Mrs. Amit. All right. My family physician is more relaxed about that kind of thing than you are. Oh, God. You won't need any more painkillers, I promise. I will take extra special care with your treatment. All right. I'll take your word for it. Are we going to do another, another holding the button? Oh, God. Left. Right button. Up. I have to say that these are actually very fun to do. I've never done something like this before. Gotta. I wish I could take a picture of what my hands look like trying to do this. It's so funny. <laughs> you see? Didn't hurt at all, did it? I don't know. I bet I'll be gone after dinner. You're the doctor. I'll check on you again tomorrow, okay? Alright. Alright. I will say, if, if you have, like, rough hands, like, arthritis in your hands and stuff, I hope they add something to the game for, for people that it might be hard to do those things. Because it might not be the most accessible gameplay element. I enjoy it a lot, but I, I think it's always worth considering um, making things accessible for people that maybe physically can't actually complete things like that, you know? Did you take care of all your patients? Yes, all taken care of. I don't know what to make of you yet. Your performance could be better. I don't want to demotivate you, but I have my eye on you. I want to see more from you tomorrow. Understand? I don't want to disappoint you, Dr. Kagowski. I'll show you what I'm made of. Go home now. You're working the late shift tomorrow. Then we'll see what you're made of. Have a nice evening. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I was just like staring at Finley. It's so cute. The elevator's fixed. Yay! I just love the design so much. The like little thing on the beak. I wonder what that's called. 
the turkeys kind of have it too. I don't know if that's the same as what turkeys have. Get out of here, kid. You're working the late shift tomorrow, aren't you? Yes, finally I get the chance to sleep in. Sleep in? Never heard of it. Is that youth slang? Haha. -ha. So funny, Ingrid. Have a nice evening, Ingrid. <laughs> Goodbye, my favorite machine. Hey, already thinking about going home? Ready for the end of the day and ready for my bed. What? No, no, no. Come down to Gilbert's with me and we'll have a drink together. One drink? One'll soon become five. Come on, don't be a party pooper. All right. But let's take Mia with us. She's had a rough day. Go ask her. I'll wait here. I've just seen Mia down here. She must be around somewhere. Okay. We'll find Mia. It's kind of cool, the phone stuff. So that you know what patients to take care of. I wonder if you'll end up taking care of a lot more patients than what we just did. Okay. Send me it was somewhere around here, right? Hmm. Doing something suspicious out back, maybe? I've caught you, Mia. Carl and I are heading over to Gilbert's for a drink. Want to join us? Don't think so. Why not? You really embarrassed me on rounds earlier. Oh, goodness. Sigh. I think you just gotta take those things in stride, man. Just put them in the past. I'm sorry, I really am. I don't know why I did that either. I should have let you answer. Yes, you should have. That's why I'm coming to Gilbert's. And my tab's on you. Well, I guess I don't have much choice, do I? Nope. Okay, agreed. Okay, that's fair. I will buy you a drink. I am sorry. I didn't mean to make you feel offended. I'm telling you, a freshly tapped beer like that puts my feet back on the ground. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the way Carl is sitting is so funny. No matter how bad my day has been. You mean refuel, don't you? Refuel too. I'm not much of a drinker. But today I'll make an exception. Oh. Accidentally repeating dialogue, my band. Well, I don't, I don't think that was on me, actually. I don't think I can go back. I think they just accidentally repeated it. If Finley's paying my tab, I'll take advantage of it. That's the right attitude. After today, definitely. Don't let Grakowski get you down. You're no fool. Not usually, anyway. Finley, what do you think? Me is smarter than the two of us put together, am I right? I won't deny that. I still feel bad about rounds this morning. Let's change the subject. She's right. I need to try harder. I don't want to d disappoint Dr. Kukowski. And especially not my patients. That's why I can't allow something like this to happen to me. I think you are a great doctor. I'm not so sure. My mother always wanted me to study medicine. I actually had other plans, but I grew up in a family of doctors. It was a given that I would become a doctor too. I don't want to disappoint my family either. I will just try twice as hard from now on. Just make sure you don't burn yourself out. You wouldn't be the first, I can tell you that. Has St. Ursula's changed since you started working there? Completely. I've been there forever. It's only natural that some things change. Internal medicine used to be on the fifth floor, for example. There's a fifth floor? Why don't I know about that? Well, I did see the stairs, but it didn't seem like we could go up them. Because that floor is no longer in use. 
I didn't quite understand it, but Roman Heinrich from accounting said it was for the best. Dr. Theobald was in charge of the floor at that time. I was always a big fan of his. You mean chief of medicine, Dr. Theobald? That's the one. Of course, he wasn't the chief of medicine back then. It's a pity, actually. He was always good with his patients. I smell a cover-up. Sniff, sniff. Today, he spends most of his time sitting behind his desk. That wouldn't be for me. Nor for me. I want to work with the people. You might as well become a programmer. Not in this life. Not in the next. Hmm. <laughs> well, let's just drink our beers. I'm just heading to the restroom. Knock yourself out. But hurry up, my throat is parched. And no sneaking out of the window. There's no avoiding the check. <laughs> you think I'm going to jump out of a first floor window? I'm no surgeon, but even I'm sure that's not a good idea. Good. Got to go to the bathroom. Ooh. Oh, what a cool place. I like the look of it. There's a lot to look at. I guess we'll just take a look at everything. Wow, I love records. I don't know why exactly. I barely ever listen to music, and when I do, it's digital. But the scratching and the noises kind of remind me of my grandpa. Whenever I see a dartboard, I get foggy flashbacks. I actually like playing darts, even though I rarely hit anything. I don't think I've ever won a match. But it's definitely better than foosball. I hate foosball. <laughs> okay, not a big fan of foosball. I, I'm the opposite. I feel like I like foosball and I just don't even like darts at all. Leave me alone, kid. Okay, I'm sorry. Goodbye. I want to talk to Mr. Turtle. The list of beverages hasn't been updated in a while. Light gooseberry beer. Liver liquor. Warm dormouse. And the Barzooka seven rounds of surprise. Sounds... <laughs> We're gonna leave it unsaid. What is all this? What is this water? What is that? Hey, Finley, my friend. Who stepped on your foot? <laughs> hey, Jelanio. Life. What's all this about? It's okay, long story. I like long stories, and also like my life. You know, we're lucky to have something you can call a daily routine. What do you mean? I took out the trash today at noon. The garbage bag ripped all the gunk, ran down my pants. Ugh, nasty. Yeah, true. But not bad either, right? Well, I guess not. I count myself lucky that I have nothing worse to tell you. Profound thought, but it's still a challenge sometimes with a daily life like that. Anyway, nice thought. <laughs> it was nice. There's a newspaper article on the wall. The barzooka hangs up his gloves. Boxing fans around the world have been in tears this weekend, as one of the most famous boxers of recent decades announced his retirement. In just seven years, the barzooka hit his way into the hearts of the public, and now he's leaving them bruised. The barzooka commented on his decision at a board game convention. I have achieved everything in my career that I want to achieve. I have fought for love and peace, in the rain, in the snow, and in the burning sun. Now it is time for me to face a longer and harder fight. That is why I am retiring. The exact reasons for his retirement were not mentioned. In just seven years, he competed in over 518 fights. 
515 defeats. Oh no. <laughs> Two victories by the non appearance of his opponent. And one victory by knockout when his opponent laughed so hard he couldn't continue fighting. The Parazuka was one of the worst boxers in history. He was, however, revered by his fans and his competitors for his humorous monologues. That sounds amazing. Wait a minute. The Barzuka? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's outside. This painting is beautiful. <laughs> is it like a fox? Oh, hey! The thing at the top looks like, um... It seems like a reference to Night in the Woods, actually, doesn't it? It just looks very similar. I don't know. Jelanio, tell me. What is it? The Barzuka? Is that a question? I didn't know you were a boxer. What do you mean by that? I was one of the best. My enemies feared me. And the girls couldn't get enough of me. <laughs> I would have loved to see you fight. I'm afraid I have to disappoint you. Wow, the way he blinks is crazy. The Barazooka retired many, many years ago. I've thrown in the towel, but this kitchen towel suits me too, right? Better than anyone else I know. Glad you came over tonight. Sure, my pleasure. It's a nice place to relax. That's thanks to my interior design skills. <laughs> okay. Lovely. The bathroom is up the steps, I presume. What's this? Most of these books are older than me. Maybe older than Jelanio, even. But neatly sorted in alphabetical order. Wow. Alternative music. Cash Doesn't Make You Happy by Sylvia Storm. Cloud Engineering Volume 2 by Edwin Erdinsky. I wonder if Jelanio might be interested in that. It's probably been left behind by a customer. The Stock Man. You think it's real books? Ice Cold Monsters by Mark Gardiner. Creepy. Ooh, creepy. There's a lot of books. Five Fingers on Each Hand by John Roberts. <laughs> this is never ending. How to Build Guitars Yourself and Tune Them Correctly by Janet Hudson. Hold my beer. I'm so okay. Will this end? I'll definitely call you back. Passion Fruit Plant Hunter by Martin King. Casual Crowns by Robin Baker. The Love Life of Lobsters by Phil Raven. Modern Line Management by Paula Kelly. Are we just reading every book? Cute puppies. These places are made for walking by Lucas Leinart. Inexpensive oral vaccination. Wow, Jelanio even wrote a book of recipes himself? It looks pretty old. The pages are yellow. Quabbling in the Sun by Rico Peterson. What the hell does quabbling mean? I'm I'm so deep in this, I gotta keep going. I gotta see if it ends. Bookkeeping for Barnkeepers by Herbert Miller. Sneakers on the Couch by Carl Goodson. Torn Tower Diaries. Under Rubber Palm Trees by Katrina Layton. Fifty Shades of Black by Nathan Bergson. Fireflies do not answer. There is no author. X Axis of the Horizon by Elon Raff. Yuppie Yoga. Back to the 80s by Martin Brown. Alternative music. Is it looping? Ah, oh, I looped. Not fair. Okay, I want to look at everything first. There's a bedroom up here. Gilbert's is not just the only bar, but also the only motel in town. It's not exactly a tourist hotspot. Honestly, I've never even seen a tourist in Porcupine. Maybe that's why there's only one room. Yeah, I, know. I was going to say, there's only one. It's quite the motel. 
Why do all bar restrooms smell like that artificial citrus scent? I mean, sure, nobody likes the smell of urine, but do you have to cover it up with something even more unpleasant? Whenever I smell that artificial lemon, it makes me wretch. Ah, uh, whatever. Hold your... I think, hold your nose and get through it is what they meant. <laughs> hold your beak. Your beak nostrils? How much do birds smell anyway? I presume not like a lot. Whenever I see- oh, this is like the same dialogue. Never mind. Alright, we use the bathroom. <laughs> I don't think my beer was empty when I left. What? No. <laughs> you drank up before you left. I'm sure. Uh, oh geez. Look behind you. A three-headed grouch. Oh. <laughs> what are you staring at, Shorty? Uh. Next round is on you. Okay, fine. Uh, I'll sit down. There you are. Jelanio, keep them coming. This evening's only just begun. Drink, 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 drink. St. Ursula's has become an old lady. Oh no, I almost forgot to do the accent. <laughs> An old lady with her paint peeling off. Frustrating. I always wanted to be a good doctor, but I'm afraid the stress is too much for me. That I'll make mistakes, or just lose the meaning of my work. Baloney. You save lives each and every day. Name me one thing that's more important. The main thing is to keep going, kid. Pa. Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark? Sir? I think the kid's right. You guys in that dump of yours, it's falling apart. You can't get anything done over there. Shut your mouth, Ralph. Nah, nah. Oh, I'll tell you something. You come in here, complaining about how hard your lives are. You should take a long, hard look at yourselves. Lazy, incompetent jerks that you are. You can't even keep an indoor cactus alive. And you talk about curing people of cancer. You couldn't save my wife either. And why? Because you all have nothing between your ears, that's why. If it were up to me, I'd burn the entire place down. I've been sitting here for no idea what time it is, and I'm still quicker witted than the two of you put together. Oh yeah? And what makes you think you're all drunk? I'll prove it. Bums? Bums? Bums. We're playing bums now. Loser pays the tab. If you want to pay so bad, be my guest. Wait a moment. What's bums? <laughs> What's bums? What's the, what's the most important part here? What's going on? Kid, haven't you been to a bar before? Heh <laughs> Alright, listen up. It bums we take it in turns to count from left to right. One, two, three, four, so on. Can count, can't you? I think I can manage that. Good. However, you're not allowed to say the number if there's a three or a seven in it. Oh my god. Okay, don't say the number if there's a three or a seven. Or if the number is divisible by three or seven? Oh no. I'm not going to be good at this. In that case, you say bums. And the direction we're counting in reverses. God. And if you count when it's not your turn, you lose too. Got it. Oh my god. 
Oh god, I don't- hold on, hold on. I might have to write this shit down. Good lord. Okay. Don't say no threes or sevens. No divisible by threes or sevens. And if you have- if you say bums, if bums, order reverses, right? I don't know, guys. I might not get this right this time. We'll, we'll try our best. Let's see. I think I got this. I think. Let's just. I got the rules down, so. Okay. It is 4 30 in the morning. So. I don't know if my brain is gonna function well enough for this. I'm not getting any younger. Go. I'll start. Holy shit. One. Two. Okay, so me, four, five, bombs, oh god, whoa, eight, bombs, ten, eleven, bombs? Oh gosh, oh gosh, count? No! Shoot! It was fourteen, he got me! You see, you're nothing. <laughs> you see, you're a bunch of good for nothings. No wonder the people of Porcupine don't want to be treated by you. Ha ha ha. Jelani will line up ten shots for me and my friends. So just for me. I'm sorry, guys. That didn't go great. Uh. We want a rematch. Not so fast. You got lucky. All right, as you wish. You don't stand a chance anyway. Oh god, this is gonna be hard. One, two. She's gonna say bums. Go back. Goes back to me. Five. And then it's bums. It's bums. Eight. Bums. Ten. Eleven. Bums. 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 16 18 bombs 19 20 bombs 22 24 5 26 count 27 ah <gasps> we did it like this. Now you see who's in charge here. Ha <laughs> ha. Now I'm gonna go and have a big cold drink. Or ten. That was just luck. You cheeky garden gnome. <laughs> garden gnome. What are you saying? Garden gnome. You look like the tip of cotton swarm. Hey wait. I'll give you cotton swarm. Oh god. Fight, fight. Fight, 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 fight. That game was so hard. Wow, if it went higher than that, I would have lost for sure. That doesn't look good. Press X to attack. Oh my god. Attack. Attack Ralph as he lunges to strike. Press and hold A to block Ralph as Ralph's attacks and charge your special. Press Y to perform a special attack. Oh my god. I didn't know there's combat in this game. X when he lunges. A to block. Um, okay. Right. Three, two, one. Dude. Oh my god. Hello? One. Whoa. I don't know what I'm doing. Blong, blong, blong. 
I don't know if I'm doing that right. Alright guys, that's enough. Don't force me to bring my gloves out of retirement. Let's call it a night. Fight, fight, fight. 